You see, though, this is a very tricky computer. This computer is very smart. And this computer just might tell me that video worked perfectly, and then because I'm so prepared for it to run smoothly, it won't this time. But we'll find out. We will. And well, no, actually, I, I don't have any threat to offer my computer because I'm kind of dependent upon it. Anyway, the thing that I learned today, things that I did, right? I uh, went to dinner, sat with um, two Iranian friends of mine. Well, I mean, they're British, but originally, I believe, from Iran. And um, the one, her name is Sahar, and she's very nice. I met her with uh, the volleyball team. Um, and <laughs> when she told me she was from Iran, I got so excited. I was, like, jumping around in my little seat and... And she was really surprised. Apparently she doesn't usually get that reaction. And um, I was delighted. And I was just like, blah, 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 blah. Like, what What do you think? Like, oh my gosh, I love Iranian history. You know, what do you think about this? Blah, blah, blah. Did your family leave the revolution? Mohammed Mossadegh. And she was like, you know who that is? And I was like, of course I know who that is. Are you kidding? Like, Orientalism, totally blah, blah, blah. Just going off about it. And so um, when she introduced me to her other friend today at dinner, she was like, um, I forgot your name, so I told her. And she was like, oh yeah, and she knows more about Iranian history than I do, which is probably not true. I don't know that much. But what I don't know, I like to think I make up for in enthusiasm. And that ties in nicely with a little bit more I experienced the Middle East later today. Oh, wait, since we're going to go all academic... I'll put on my other glasses, the ones that I'm sure my mother will hate. I like them. I've been watching a lot of Woody Allen. This is what happens. Um, anyway, where was I? Oh, so my darlings, <clears throat> oh, my brothers and sisters and parents, um, after dinner, I went and saw the film Fish Tank, which you've probably never heard of, unless you've been spending time in the tube up in London because there's posters for it everywhere. And it's a kind of, kind of like if Juno, were set in Essex and really depressing. That's basically what it is. Um, it Not only was I kind of planning on seeing it anyway, except in the end I probably wouldn't have because <laughs> I'm lazy, but I also got an email from my professor today who said, oh look, this is a great example of contemporary British cinema. Go check it out. And sure enough, it was mostly like, oh wow, modern Britain sucks. Like here's this girl from Essex, she's 15. Um, She's very, very angry. I mean, within the first 10 minutes of the movie, she walks up to a girl and tells her she's bad at dancing and headbutts her, and the girl's nose starts bleeding. Um, the final part of the movie, when she's leaving with this guy she barely knows to go to Wales, I don't know why, I think it has something to do with broken down car parts. And when she says goodbye to her little sister, her sister runs up and hugs her and says, I hate you, and she says, I hate you too. And I think that says a lot about the film. And I suppose I could also say a lot about modern British cinema and contemporary British self-reflexivity, maybe. Um, I'm so sorry, I've, I've put so much like film criticism into this vlog, and it should be about, you know, trees and, and the Queen and crumpets or something. But I did sit under a tree today. I, I, <laughs> good old Fitzgerald and I did go sit under a tree, and we ate an entire baguette and some cookies. Sorry, biscuits. Before dinner. Well, most of the baguette before dinner. Anyway, um, so I went and saw Fish Tank, and it was, it was good. Um, very interesting. I, I feel like I have a better glimpse of certain aspects of British society um, and self-reflexivity. And, and Essex, which still <laughs> be still my beating heart, is where Russell Brand is from. Um, right now I'm also watching bit by bit a documentary he did where he goes on a road trip as an homage to Jack Kerouac. Um, he and his best friend took a road trip on the road across the United States following Jack Kerouac's footsteps and um, throughout the whole thing, right, I mean it's Russell Brand and they play Jack White music. Like it starts off with a White Stripes song and the next song that like is played as part of the soundtrack, <laughs> the non-diegetic music is a raconteur song, and this has only reaffirmed my love for both of those very talented men. Um, which, oh see, I, 
it must be boring that I talk about the same stuff all the time, I promise. Someday, other interesting things will happen. But I was watching an interview earlier on YouTube with, um, which I'm like addicted to now, with, I believe it was Dame Judi Dench? No, Helen Mirren. Mmm, that's embarrassing, scratch that. Helen Mirren, um, talking about how people she's worked with on The Tempest, actually, which is a film coming out, and Russell Brand is in The Tempest, saying that he, um, I mean, he's, like, never done Shakespeare before, even though he's went to drama school. Anyway, that he's one of the best um, improvisation actors that they've ever seen, and that he is a genius. Of course, I already guessed that. But anyway, so, going on for improvisation, actually, this flows nicely, because after I saw Fish Tank, tonight I got my, um, my cinema card because there's a little like independent theater and they do actual theater shows. I saw the Footlights, the Cambridge Footlights. If you don't know what that is or why they're important, look them up. Um, it was really good though. It was so exciting. Um, this is my Gulb Cine Club because it's called the Gulbenkian Theater, so it's the Gulb Cine Club. That's a shame. Anyway, um, basically, I get discounted admission to all the films with this card, which is fantastic, because they have some really good films, and, um, it's, you know, two seconds away on campus, and it's a lot cheaper with this card, and they play films that are more interesting to me than, you know, I mean, they play films that aren't that interesting, like Transformers, they played that, I did not go see it, even though it was free, but anyway, they play, they play some good stuff, and some stuff I'm looking forward to, including tonight, they played Bruno, which was the most educational thing I did today. Um, and this goes in with improvisation because Bruno, if you don't know, is Sasha Bear Cohen, um, who did Borat, which I'm sure you all know and love, um, his, ra his latest reincarnation, which was out in the States like months ago. But I didn't go see it because I was pretending like I couldn't afford it, even though I did go see some other very unfortunate and poorly produced films at that time. Anyway, didn't see Bruno. Saw it here tonight. It was really cheap. It was like cheap movie night. It was also on at 9.20. Um, because inappropriate-ish films play later. <laughs> Disclaimer, mom. If you ever see Bruno, don't watch the first 20 minutes. But I would recommend that if you can handle it, you should see it because... If you take it for what it's saying and don't just get caught up in necessarily face value or morals or propriety, um, it has a lot to say about, well, about Western culture, actually all culture, all, all over, because he travels all over the world. He's an Austrian, very flamboyant fashionista slash talk show host. Um, who wants to go to LA to become a celebrity, and the commentary on Los Angeles is fantastic, and I, I mean, I can't be sure of this, but there's a good chance that I'm the only person from Southern California in the theater, and it was so much funnier, and it's also, it's fantastic, like, I'd love to have seen it with an audience back in the States to see what they found funny versus, because the British people thought everything was hilarious, um, and it was so fantastic because it was interesting to kind of like get the sense of what all the British people thought of it versus how I felt about it and how I know most people like, well, back home would feel about it. Um, it was really good. And it also just harkens back to some very common themes in my life. That sounds bad. I'm not talking about the inappropriate bits because my life's very kosher in a secular way anyway but um some of the themes that it dealt with definitely are prevalent in my own life and they're also really good things to think about it talked about the middle east too which was great because i love that topic um anyway time is running out tomorrow i might finally go to the beach after class hopefully um i'll keep you posted um and i think that's about it yep that's good for now all right over and out, my friends.